Good morning. You know, some things are an acquired taste. I remember the first time I drank coffee, I had a little bit of coffee and a lot of cream and a lot of sugar. Now I drink my coffee black and I like it that way. Thank you very much. Now some of the other things that are acquired tastes are authors. Oswald Chambers, for example. My utmost for his highest is a little different than the daily bread. I don't know how many of you read my utmost for his highest. I talked about him yesterday, that is Oswald Chambers, when I said fear not. Today, I'd like to talk about fret not. Fear not, fret not. And this is so good, I'm just gonna read it to you. Now, I know you can read for yourself, but maybe listening to this today might help you. Fretting means getting out at elbows mentally or spiritually. It is one thing to say fret not, but it is a very different thing to have such a disposition that you find yourself able not to fret. It sounds so easy to talk about resting in the Lord and waiting patiently for Him until the nest is upset, until we live, as so many are doing, in tumult and anguish. Is it possible then to rest in the Lord? If this don't, does not work there, it will work nowhere. This don't, that is, don't fret, must work in days of perplexity, as well as in days of peace, or it will never work. And if it will not work in your particular case, it will not work in anyone's case. Resting in the Lord does not depend on external circumstances at all, but on your relationship to God Himself. Fussing, or fretting, always ends in sin. We imagine that a little anxiety and worry are an indication of how really wise we are. It is much more an indication of how really wicked we are. Fretting springs from a determination to get our own way. Our Lord never worried. He was never anxious, because He was not out to realize His own ideas. He was out to realize God's ideas. Have you been bolstering up that stupid soul of yours with the idea that your circumstances are too much for God? Put all supposing on one side and dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. Deliberately tell God that you will not fret about that thing. All our fret and worry is caused by calculating without God. So yesterday I asked you to get a say-so, fear not. Today a new say-so, fret not. Hope you have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.